Hey, and what up YouTube? This is Robo Rider. Welcome to the channel. And today, baby, we got some parts in, some long awaited parts that I've been looking for. Um, also, my stickers came in. We talked about it in the last video. Unfortunately, they came in in the wrong size, but I still have them. My son's stickers also came in. Check him out, Jammin's Adventures. These are my stickers next to his. You can see the size difference, but I got bigger ones coming in. But to get to it, I have an integrated turn signal slash brake light made by Eagle Lights. And guys, this thing is so inexpensive. Their customer service is amazing. Their warranty is amazing. So this review and install is my own and honest opinion. Um, this actually birthed a partnership with them uh, because we've been emailing back and forth and they're actually gonna send me their newest headlight that they make for the Lowrider S and also the bracket that goes into the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. So they started a partnership with them, which is totally cool. Thanks to YouTube for this opportunity and thank you Eagle Lights for believing in my channel. That'll be another install and review video probably in the next week. And the other part that came in is Gorilla Cables. You're gonna need this if you want to use the stock wiring harness to integrate the turn signals on the brake light. Now, if you just want a brake light, you're not gonna need this, but I highly recommend you get this so you can use the integrated turn signals and get rid of the other ones. They also sent me some cool swag. We got a koozie, got some stickers, and I'm gonna add these on here. But basically, you guys can see my Viking bags in order to put them on, you have to relocate the turn signals, which are normally here. And they give you a relocation bracket to move them out here, but you gotta run these ugly wires and I hate the look of it. So I'm like, I need to get rid of this. Just put it all right here. So it looks nice and sleek and cool, makes the bike look better. So without further ado, I need to get these bags off so we can lift up this fender, get under the seat, run the wiring harness to here really easy install but just basically making this video um so if people have any questions or they need help with it they can check out the video so i'm gonna go ahead and take these off now and now they're off and the next thing is gonna take off the seat and the sissy bar so we can get to that and we got that off now and the next thing we're gonna do is take these guys off uh probably need to take off this whole bracket um, I will be doing another video of the lay down bracket that I will be putting on here um, but that's on its way but we're gonna remove all this take all this off and then lift this up to get underneath and we got that all loose now all the bolts taken out so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this but since it's still attached to the bike you have to go over here under the seat and these plugins are all right here. I know I already did it, got ahead of myself, but you basically just unplug it and you see where it's all ran. So you're just gonna cut these zip ties and you see it runs over here, runs over here, and this runs up through the fender. This is what we're replacing with the Gorilla cables. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. I'm not doing the snapping thing anymore. I think it's overused. <laughs> but yeah, basically we're gonna cut these all right here. And just, I think there'll be just one wire coming right up through here. And bam, that easy. So, need a knife. Got a knife. Looks like Gorilla Cables also included uh, some more zip ties. Um, it looks like the type that mounts to your frame so you can run it. So I probably should be using Something that's a lot safer than a knife, but that's all I got. Boom, boom. And this needs to come off as well. There we go. Done, done. And one more to go. Got it. All right, there we go. 
got that done. This is also loose, but you can see the, the wires are kind of pinched here. Um, they kind of run through this bracket. So once you loosen here where the bags are mounted, this will lift up, which is what I'm gonna do now that I got all that done. All this is disconnected. So now we can just take it all off. Oh, before you try to force the fender up, there's these little um, brackets that kind of hold it in place. You need to remove that first. So you just kind of get your hands behind it. I'd suggest using gloves. I hate when my hands get all greasy and gross. Yeah, I know, I'm a baby. Shut up. Sometimes it's hard to get out of there. something to push it through. There you go. There it went. Nice and dirty. <laughs> All right, now that that's done, this should be freed up to have some movement. And it, it is, it is a little tough to move. I'm just gonna keep yanking up here. This was probably my own doing, <laughs> the way I ran these. Actually, in your case, it'll be easy to just lift it up and do it. In my case, I kind of spliced these in there and I used a lot of tape to do it. <laughs> So I'm just gonna try to pull it through. Like so. Um, for me, I'm probably just gonna cut those because I'm not reusing these at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. One down, two down. Now, I don't suggest doing that if you actually want to reuse this, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep it though, cause you can always splice it all back together. Excuse the dangerous use of the knife. I know, I just need wire clippers. All right, now that that part is done, we got this loose, okay. Now this can go straight up and that will give you access underneath here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of hard to do this, my GoPro. It gives you access under here where this is ran and that's what we're gonna take off. Just get a chair and get lower. So right in here. This gets replaced, runs to here for us to plug in the new light. Super simple. So go ahead and do that. All right, I got that undone here, and now I'm gonna take off the stock tail light. Because said, uh, this is really, really simple, guys. It's not rocket science. It's kind of therapeutic to work on your own bike. I'm also gonna clean this thing, because this is dirty. Look at all this Florida pollen, man. Come on, Robo Rider, you can do it. Ah, okay, <laughs> I'm a dummy. You guys are probably laughing at me. Underneath is the tab. They're usually on top, but just push it in, slides right on out. Like I said, there's that uh, electric electrode grease on there. Got some surplus, but these are the screws. It's like one of them has like a lock washer, but the other doesn't. Um, been told I may have to reuse this, so I'm gonna keep the headlight nearby. Or sorry, tail light, not headlight. Headlight is next video. So we're gonna keep that there, keep the screw there. And here we go. Eagle lights, baby. Just gonna show it to you guys and then got a clean underneath here. 
You can see it's kind of dirty. But once we clean under there, we can stick it probably in the same spot the stock one was. Probably use alcohol because that stuff is stuck on there. But this here is the light. And oh, they did give you um, a new sealer thing. And just to compare the two, I mean, to me, it's a pretty, pretty big difference in thickness. So it's a lot smaller, a lot thinner, integrated. This is going to be awesome. Let me take this stuff off so you can actually see it. But yeah, so this is what it looks like compared to the stock. A lot smaller, a lot slimmer and integrated feature is the main reason why I got it. So we're going to get the Gorilla Cable ran. I'm going to keep this off to the side for now. And once we get that ran, we're going to pop that baby in, make sure it works. Cut over to that. All right, so next you want to take your Gorilla Cables after you get your stock headlight out and the stock um, wiring harness and loosely just put it right through here. Run it through that hole, run it through this hole. Don't tape anything down yet. And also make sure you clean under there before you do tape it. But you wanna go there black male to gray female on the stock and then their uh, gray male to black female on the stock. And then you can just put it right back where they already were. And then obviously this one goes to the main one here. And you just push these back down where they were. And they chill there under your seat. Make sure you leave a little bit of slack. Um, they did provide more zip ties. So I'm going to use the zip tie that they gave and put it there. Kind of to button that down. Like that. So you're leaving tension off of this. So that goes like that. And then now let's get the actual headlight on. Not headlight, tail light. <laughs> I keep seeing headlight or I keep saying headlight because um, Eagle Lights actually is partnering with me and the channel. Um, and next we're gonna do an, a headlight from them on the Lowrider S that works with the Memphis Shade fairing. So that'll be in the video next week. So basically make sure you put on their uh, foam piece. I believe this keeps the water out and you have to do the punch out, which I already did. I just didn't record it, but you basically have to do the punch out. Make sure the wires are on the inside of it like that. Then obviously this gets plugged in because that's what gets power. And it's going to go blue is on the left. Yellow is on the right. And this is for your turn signals. Make sure the tabs are facing up because they lock in where that little square is. Like so. And then this goes in for the brake power. Like so. And double check our work. You can see we have power. Left side, right side, hazards, and brake. So we are all set. And then literally you just kind of push it down and pinch it in. And hopefully it sets flat in there. Make sure the wires are out of the way. Like so, like so, and there we go, and it goes just like that. I believe you're gonna have to use the stock screws that were here 
to make sure it's in place. And then obviously there's the license plate illuminator there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna button it down. Um, but yeah, like I said, check the comments below. I will give the direct link to Eagle Lights. And since I am partnering with them for a future video, I'm gonna reach out for this tail light, even though I bought it and this is my honest install review and opinion. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get a promo code for you guys. Um, maybe it'll be Robo Rider. I'll see. Uh, once I shoot and edit this video, I'll email them and hopefully by the time I post it, a promo code will be ready. So check the description below. I'll give you an exact link with a promo code if I can get one. Same drill is gonna go for the headlight that they're gonna send, which, turn this off, will go here and it's gonna have the Memphis shade bracket to fit it perfectly. But their headlight, saw pictures of it, it's really cool. They don't have an install video or review video, so that's why they're partnering with me. And again, Eagle Lights, I really appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully this content has been helpful for you. If you can do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button, and also hit the bell icon, which will give you notifications for future videos and updates. Like I said, we have stickers, baby. Follow my son's channel, Jamma's Adventures. But I'm getting bigger stickers, so when I see you guys in person, can hand them out if you want to throw it on your helmet or your bike. Um, people scan this QR code and brings them to the channel to subscribe. So it's a really cool way to market when I go places. But again, thank you again, Eagle Lights. Um, thank you, Gorilla Cables. I will put a link below of where to get the exact kit for the 22 Lowrider S. Um, I did reach out to them via email to try to get a partnership or promo code for anyone that wants to buy it, but it's still pretty inexpensive. I mean, I don't remember what I paid, but it wasn't that expensive. Um, this whole setup is way cheaper than other companies, not to hate on them, but their integrated tail light alone costs more than all this by far. So again, great customer service. There's a warranty on it. They get back to you really quick. And again, check the description below for the hookup. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, keep two wheels down, ride safe. If you pop those wheelies, please at least keep one wheel down. See you guys in the next video.